Hi, I'm Tracy McWhorter, author of By Any Greens Necessary, and I'm here with Mackenzie Green, Miss DC USA 2010, and a new vegan. And we are here at Metropolitan AME Church in Washington, DC, at her farewell for now party, as she makes her way to Las Vegas to compete for the Miss USA title. Congratulations, Mackenzie. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So I, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about how being Miss DC USA and being a vegan are connected for you. Well, I ended up going vegan largely because the dieting and the exercise I'd put myself through early on on my road to being Miss DC was just so extreme that it was really making me sick. Okay. So I just wanted to find something that was healthier and that I could feel like everything I was eating was something that was, you know, for my benefit so that I didn't feel like, oh, I need to count calories because who really needs to count calories when your snack is a handful of blueberries? Right. So I just, you know, kind of went online and looked up things and had kind of toyed with the idea of going vegan. And I'm a huge Alicia Silverstone nut. I loved her in Clueless and found out about the Kind Life Diet, read it and thought this vegan thing isn't too bad. Mm -hmm. So... I just did it to become, you know, my state title, and when I won, next thing I knew, people are going, well, she's a vegan and she's a beauty queen, so they've kind of gone hand in hand because I think being a vegan helps you have that glow and mm -hmm. that kind of vibrancy to who you are, mm -hmm. and what better way than to represent yourself than to have this internal, you know, kind of spark about you. Absolutely, and you definitely have it. <laughs> and Veg you. News contacted you, Veg mm -hmm. News Magazine. So how was that? What was that like for you? That was actually really cool because I kind of felt like, here I was this new member of this community and they were kind of welcoming me with open arms and saying, you know, feel free to tell your story because we'd love to inspire others. And that was just an amazing thing to kind of open up this magazine and see my face in it and think, oh my God, people who are all the way out in California are going to get to hear about my story about how I went vegan and maybe they'll be inspired. So it's really cool. Absolutely. I think you're going to inspire a lot of people. And I, one of the things that, that um, I'm really interested in is how you can inspire women, particularly in D.C., because you and I are both mm -hmm. born and raised in D.C., <laughs> yeah. and that's part of the work I do with By Any Greens Necessary. So we talked about that. So yeah. how do you think that you can inspire women in D.C. to eat healthier? I think the largest thing that I can inspire is because I think something about me is relatable to every woman. I'm not, you know, this size. I'm not itty-bitty. I'm not perfect. I run marathons. I do all kinds of active stuff. You know, sometimes I can be a couch potato. I think mm -hmm. I have more of kind of, I guess I feel when I looked in Veg News, I saw these women that I felt like, okay, you know, great story, but you're talking about how you've never eaten meat for like the last 12 years. I'm somebody <laughs> that people can go, oh, okay, you know, it's a still a day-to-day -day struggle. There's still times where you think I would love some cheese on this broccoli, but it's like, what's the better choice? Putting mm -hmm. this product in my body because for a moment of satisfaction or eating something that down the long run, I can be happy that I did for myself. So right. I think other Washingtonians and especially other black women and black people in Washington will feel like, you know, this is a girl that came from, you know, a family that makes fried chicken and macaroni and cheese for gatherings, and she can still enjoy time with her family. Right. So I, so how has your family responded? My mom was quite funny when I told her I'm vegan. <laughs> you would have thought I told her I wanted to be a serial killer. It was okay. kind of like, have we talked about this? Can we discuss, you know, what are you not doing? Does this mean you're going to throw paint on my coats? What are we doing right now? So I think they've kind of finally gotten mm -hmm. into it because they see that it's not so much some kind of thing rejecting what they gave me or the mm -hmm. kind of food they raised me on, but rather it's being conscious about what I'm putting in my body. So, mm -hmm. you know, I know my own mother tries to make, you know, meat-free meals every now and then for herself, and my dad Wonderful. even. And I, that was always my biggest goal was not telling everybody, you know, because I know everybody can't make that choice. Mm -hmm. Everybody can't really give up meat or doesn't don't feel really comfortable doing it but mm -hmm. I wanted people to see you know hey making healthy choices doing healthy things for your body giving right. up meat every now and then is really great for yourself in the long run right so you've been able to influence them in that way to eat yeah. more meatless meals mm -hmm. excellent excellent and so when you become Miss USA, we're putting that energy out there, yeah. <laughs> um, how, do you, how will that uh, influence your platform, the fact that you are vegan? I think that will influence my platform in the sense of, my platform has always been health and wellness for children and teens in low-income areas. Okay. And to teach these kids that, yeah, it may not sound as appealing to eat an apple or have a banana or have you know, a really fresh smoothie with almond milk, 
over a Big Mac, but it's really a great thing. And to know where your food came from, to have an active part in it, to know that you can enjoy a meal without feeling guilty, whatever the calorie count is, because the minerals, the vitamins, the nutrients in it mm -hmm. far outweighs whether or not it's a 100 calorie snack pack mm -hmm. over a piece of fruit or a really good meal. And I would just hope with that to go to urban areas and mm -hmm. get these community gardens going, get the schools to have healthier meals at lunch and at these breakfasts because, you know, a lot of these kids are having trouble concentrating with ADD because mm -hmm. of what they eat and Absolutely. the meals they get at home and how they start their day. So just to be able to put that on a national platform to show people, hey, I'm a minority, I'm a vegan, it's mm -hmm. not so scary, and just give it a little try every now and then and you'll really be glad. Right, excellent. And now um, one of my... Uh, taglines for by any greens necessary is being healthy hippie and happy and I definitely think that you represent <laughs> that as a black woman who's a vegan mm -hmm. and so I wanted to know what what has the change been like for you because you're a recent vegan when did you actually make the transition and, and what changes have you noticed I made the transition when I ended up in Jackson Memorial Hospital with a horrible stomach ache from my dieting okay. and that was in October and I was crowned in November so wow. Here I was, having to have done this extreme dieting, making a radical change that could have made me gain weight, who knew, heading on to the biggest pageant that I was about to do, the first one I was ever about to do in my life. And it's been really great. I just feel better. I don't feel so irritable. I feel like I can eat when I'm hungry mm -hmm. and not have to say, oh, well, is this, I'm allowed to use this meal. Let me measure this out. It's, right. Like I said, you know, I can go in my fridge and dig out a handful of blueberries. Mm -hmm. I don't feel bad about that. Mm -hmm. I know it's something good that I'm choosing. You know, I take a banana with me to class. Right. I make a bowl of quinoa in the morning. And there are times where I make that on weekends with mm -hmm. a little bit of almond milk. That I will eat that from, you know, time I wake up to lunchtime mm -hmm. because it's so filling and the process of eating and mm -hmm. how rich it feels and you want to savor something that's that good and natural right. from beginning to end. And I just feel beautiful on the inside and I think when you feel like you're doing something good for yourself on the inside it comes out and other people see a beautiful happy woman like you said and you just feel you know and that helps you feel sexy and that's what you know pedants are about or sexy right. women showing everybody what it's like to be a woman <laughs> so I, I just like that feeling that I feel like myself wonderful last question what are your three favorite foods three favorite vegan foods to eat I love quinoa mm -hmm. I could swim in it live in it eat it every day of my <laughs> like life oh my goodness so amazing kale chips mm -hmm. love kale little baked kale with some balsamic vinegar on it mm -hmm. I mean you can eat a bag of Lay's and you'll feel horrible after it's over right. you can make five bunches of kale and eat those things till the cows come home and you'll never feel bad about yourself that's true and I'm mm -hmm. a huge vegan cupcake person and oh, I yeah. discovered that those existed <laughs> I was like, hold the phone, life just changed. I can eat cupcakes and not feel horrible because I'm not gonna have like a headache and I'm not gonna have a weird aftertaste right. in my mouth. So Right. So you're not deprived, you're actually yeah. eating an abundance of great yeah, food. Yeah, and that's the mm -hmm. amazing thing. And I've just discovered so many things that I love. Like I never knew I liked kale mm -hmm. <laughs> until I read a recipe for it and right. ate it. I right. love Kumbochi, the the drink, mm -hmm. it's so good. Like, mm -hmm. who needs a soda when you can have that? Mm -hmm. So delicious. I love, you know, I have my tea time now at mm. home. And when you're a student and you're busy, that's amazing feeling yeah. to come home and make some tea and drink it. And you feel like, yeah. okay, no matter what happened today, I feel good. And right. to stand right. over a stove and make these <laughs> great, it's just really So cool. you're cooking more. Yeah. yeah. Even as a student. I was okay. a huge cooker like cook before and I love okay. making food but you fall into a rut but yeah. when you can go to a farmer's market and just pick up anything and mm -hmm. know that as a vegan there aren't really any recipes you know if you want to shave some daikon and put it on a salad mm -hmm. or if you decide you want to you know pick up almond butter and you know and find something or a pita and hummus whatever you want to do mm -hmm. it's really fun to just kind of play with food now exactly thank you so much thank and you. good luck to you thank you so much